joined us on a very special occasion. It is our blooper night. <laughs> That's right. With the help of the Bloopertron 3000, we'll take a look at some moments from Mr. Show that didn't go quite the way we wanted them to. <laughs> Let's look at our first clip from a show where Bob got a little too upset. <laughs> Okay. Did you see your face? Okay, okay. <laughs> now, in the next clip, a certain David Cross... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's watch that again. No. Let's watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> backwards, backwards. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, come on. Cut it out. That is enough. have to push everything, you know? You want to see a blooper, huh? Well, yeah, we got dressed up and everything. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, smart mouth. Sherry, roll that thing. You know... Because uh, I'm a superstar, being a superstar machine. Take it into the star heart. Oh, emotional shows. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get that? Emotion lotion! <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Sherry, why don't you roll that blooper I was showing around the office earlier? Yeah, look. Hey, man. You, you want a party, huh? Bob? Hey, hey, man, um, so do you still like to party? Okay! <laughs> man, I was just out of college. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. You think that's embarrassing? Yeah. Huh? yeah what? Roll that other... Come on, roll it. Oh. <laughs> It's the same thing. You already showed that. I got hours of that, man. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was not going to do this. I was not going to do this. Sherry, roll that other blooper. Look. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Odenkirk. It's simply too late to have an abortion. <laughs> Your son is four years old. What's a good Gordon? <laughs> Ultimate blooper! <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we tallied your votes, and the top <laughs> blooper of the night is either Upsy Daisy, What's a good Gordon, or Secret Superstar. David? And the winner is. Secret Superstar! Singing it to the sky! Emotional motion! Yeah! One superstar in a superstar machine! Taking it to the stars! Emotional motion! I didn't know anyone was. Have you been there the whole time? Let me tell you something, kid. You got the goods. 
Really? Emotion Ocean. Hey, Mike, it's Glenn. I'm back. Yeah. So listen, it's like I'm saying, all right? Mm -hmm. The guy who played the dad on Lassie invented LSD. Dude, fucking no way, man. Yes. I'll bet you anything. I'll bet you two hours worth of phone sex. Two hours worth of phone sex? Okay, you're on. Okay, I'm on the web. I'm at the Lassie site. Mm -hmm. oh, here's his bio. Oh, shit, you're yeah. right. <laughs> I told you, man. All right, two hours worth of phone sex. Yeah, whatever. Cool, I'm calling now. Hey, that's a little more information than I needed. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Hey, buddy. I got that. Yeah, Glenn Peterson. I want to talk to the hottest, horniest slut you got. <laughs> hey, Mike. Call me Thor. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing, man? Well, you know, phone sex. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Call one of those numbers, you know, and send me the bill. Glenn, Glenn, I don't want your money. Well, then forget about it. Dude, you lost the bet. Now, I'm calling back, so disguise your voice, you dumb dick. <laughs> Horny Slut Hotline, this is Peppermint speaking. Uh, hello. Peterson, is that you? Oh, Mrs. Cooper. <laughs> Sorry, I was just having a josh there. <laughs> well, I hope so. Get the Evans file on my desk before you go home tonight. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Glenn Peterson. Hey, it's Thor. Hey, Mike, what the fuck, man? You were gonna call right back. You almost got me fired. Jeez, I wanted to give you time to get into character. Oh, listen, Mike, call forget Call me it. Thor. Let me see if uh, one of our operators is free. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is Peppermint. Yeah? Hey, well, uh, I got my pants down, Peppermint. What do you think of Thor's hammer? <sighs> Terrific. Yeah? What do you want to do to it? Oh, I want to do all sorts of naughty things with it. It's just so big, though. It's kind of scary. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just love working this big monster of yours. Uh, hey. Yeah, OK, OK. OK, Mike, Glenn. You through already? Fuck, yeah, man. You should see all this. Uh, an hour and 57 minutes more, Yomi. I want that file. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> hey. Hello, this is Thor. Jesus, Thor, don't you take a break? Hold on. Hey, this is Peppermint. Did you miss me? Hey, Peppermint. Yeah. Do you feel like being bad with Peppermint? Uh -huh. So bad, so bad. Uh, oh, hold on, I got another call. Stay on the line. Hey, Glenn Peterson. Hey, man, it's me, Mike. I just wanted to say, man, you are amazing. <laughs> Mike, I got you holding on the other line. Uh, that ain't me. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. All right, whoever this is, fuck off. Hey, man, come on. You already got me so worked up. I'm, you're good. <laughs> Really? Yeah, really. I mean, you say all the right things. <laughs> um, listen, could I talk to Peppermint again? Oh. Yeah. Hey, this is Peppermint. <laughs> I hear my favorite customer has an attack of the hornies. Peppermint's here to make it all better. Peterson! <laughs> that is it, pervert. Get your shit and get out.
You're just jealous because I'm more of a woman than you'll ever be. <laughs> hey, guys. If you're in the mood for some steamy sex chat, there's only one Glenn Peterson. When I first heard that Glenn was a dude and not a chick, I wanted to call a chick. But Glenn's a dude's dude who really knows what dudes want to hear when they're imagining talking to a chick. How's that? I don't know, man. I mean, you got to make me think that this guy thinks that this Glenn guy is the hottest chick in the world, you know? So maybe an English accent? Yes. Next. Look. Danny Woodkin? Yeah, right here. Great. This way, it's Norm, the producer. Hi, oh, hi. I'm Denny Woodkin. Oh. And uh, the monologue that I'll be performing now is from the play entitled The Audition by Gavin Hollerwood. Well, how apropos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can start anytime. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Can I use this chair? Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, I started it. That's, oh. that's part of the monologue. Oh, God. Oh, I thought you were asking us to. No, no, I was doing it. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, can I use this chair? Yeah. No, 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 oh. no. Oh. no. <laughs> One to one. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Let me. Just, I'll start, yeah. Start yeah. again. Mm. Uh, can can I use this chair? <laughs> Seriously, can I use it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I need it. For the audition. <laughs> Could somebody answer me? <laughs> Jesus, talk to me. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. no. no. Oh. You're just... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right. We'll get it this time. All right, can I start again? Please do. Can I use this chair? <laughs> Seriously, can I use it? Hello? <laughs> I need it for the audition. <laughs> Could somebody answer me? Jesus, talk to me. I'm a human being up here, for God's sake. Don't just look at each other. Answer me. Can I use it? Yes. No! <laughs> now that's in there? Yes. Don't just look at each other? Yes. Exactly when we did it. Yes, it's a good play. Yeah, you know? I guess so. <laughs> I mean, it comes from experience, from a real place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Start again. All right. <clears throat> can I use this chair? <sighs> Seriously, can I use it? Hello? <laughs> I need it for the audition. Could somebody answer me? Jesus, talk to me. I mean, I'm a human being up here, for God's sakes. Don't just look at each other. Answer me. Can I use it? God. Oh, fuck. You, you know, you guys sit there. You know, you and your stupid designer tie and your dumbass glasses and ported bottled water, you know, sitting... <laughs> Sitting looking down at the lowly actor on the stage, getting off on your power trip. Well, you know what? Fuck you. I don't need to be in your stupid, dumbass sitcom. It's fucking retarded. It's not funny. You know what? I read it's, it's never going to work, you know? Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whoa. That was weird. What was it? I... Oh. And see. Oh, great. Oh. No! It died! Let me start again. Can I use no, this chair? No, kid, kid. Seriously. Kid. We've seen enough. You got the goods. <laughs> really? Kids and dads, dads and kids, you and me, a family tree. Who would have known? Yes, who would have knew that kid would grow up to be?
What the heck? Turn off that TV. Turn off that. Did you hear me, mister? Turn off the TV and go get up and help with dinner. Do it. Go. Oh, all right, all right. No! Oh. <laughs> Turn the TV you got me. Off. Turn it off, Dale. Come on. Okay, all right. Sick and tired about it. I've asked yeah, you how many times have I asked you to turn it off? Either, uh, I've asked you like 20 oh, different times. Oh. <laughs> Shut and turn it off. We're like turn any family. Off. We fight, but we love each other. We just have dreams for our little one. We travel around, do the circuit, you know. Some women, they try to force their babies into this, and I don't think that's no. right. Mm -mm. Our baby wants to do it. Our baby loves the glamour and attention. Yeah. Yeah, our baby's already won a scholarship to uh, Miss Lily's finishing school. What's that? That's a school where they teach you how to finish. <laughs> okay, let's welcome our next contestant in the pageant. <laughs> See, what I can do with these fetuses is literally a miracle, okay? <laughs> I can surgically apply makeup, uh, false eyelashes, whatever. Liposuction baby fat. I'll tell you what, these fetuses are happy. They come out, you gotta see them. They have such high self-esteem. They can't wait to be born. They are so happy. These all kinds of ways you gotta spend money on. Mm -hmm. I work a bunch of different jobs so we can keep getting in all the different embryo shows. Mm -hmm. my, my regular nine to five job is uh, at the pork rind factory. That don't pay so good. No, but it's all right because they give you all the irregular pork rinds, all you can eat. Yeah. And the old baby, the old baby loves them. Look at her. She, eats she them loves them. Loves them. She eats them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Then also, also I have my toilet on wheels business. That's right. We just got a second one of them. Hey there, honey. We and did. I mortgage yeah, off the first one. It's going good. I think it's going to go good. It's going to go good. 300? I thought it was 200. I know, sweet pea, but the banners cost us a little more than we expected. All we got is 200. That's it. God, I am so sorry. But we drove all the way here. God, I know. Huh? Dale? Wait, I can't. Sweetie, I can't. Huh? All right, I, I don't know what suppose I can take a fourth job. Hey there, Mr. Van Ernie. Hey, Dale. She's been acting up again. Yeah. I took I took an extra extra job down at the circus. Mr. Van Ernie has me kiss the elephants' asses. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, whether it's the sound or or the feeling, but the elephants love it. Am I a pioneer? I suppose so. I didn't ask that. Well, it's a very expensive procedure. Thank you for coming to the pageant. Here to judge our golden days of Hollywood pageant, we are proud to have our celebrity judges from the TV show Daddy's Little Fancy, Miss Samantha Donner. Morning radio personality, Crazy Uncle Gertie. You don't you beautiful, so beautiful. Look how pretty you are. Yeah. Pretty, I see how pretty you are. I don't want It's time for the moment everybody has been waiting for. The winner of the Golden Days of Hollywood pageant is... The Crow Fetus! The Crow Fetus! Yeah! Here it goes.
is a fine dining restaurant. This man claims to be the Royal Dutch of Dukes. The real Royal Dutch of Dukes is a frequent guest here. Please escort this false Royal Dutch of Dukes of a false wits. I won't kick your ass, Pierre. <laughs> This is so sweet. Yeah, this is classy, huh? This restaurant is fantastic. Yeah, they gave it another star. Six stars means the ultimate dining experience <laughs> for the ultimate lady experience. <laughs> <clears throat> I trust everything is to Monsieur's satisfaction. Oh, yeah, it's incredible. It's great. Sweetie, will you excuse me for just a moment? I'm just going to wash my hands. Nonsense, madame. La hand, monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how fancy! Oh, wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> Does Madame and Monsieur require anything else? No, we're good. We're... Very well, I shall bring your entrees. <laughs> Entree, do it! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, boy, all right. Ooh, wow. Huh? <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> Oh, sir, is there a problem? Uh, no, just, uh, where are the uh, restrooms? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, I mean the men's room? Uh, sh 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 sir, please. We do not uh, have such a thing, eh? The burgundy loaf prides itself as the epitome of class and distinction, and uh, we would not uh, soil our atmosphere with uh, a men's toilet room, eh? It is too crudite to imagine. <laughs> You just hold it in. No, I can't. Ah, Madame, Monsieur, everything is taken care of. Huh? <clears throat> Voila! The chair! <laughs> Crafted from Brazilian mahogany. <clears throat> the box! <clears throat> the box, handcrafted with Italian gold leaf. Inside, a velvet lining to cradle Monsieur's leavings with the tender delicacy <laughs> of a devoted mother. <clears throat> Monsieur may sit, enjoy his meal, and perform his task at leisure. <clears throat> you want me to shit in a box while I'm eating dinner? <laughs> when Monsieur is en vacant, we will deliver the box to his home, first class, courtesy of the Burgundy Loaf. <clears throat> Just no, so. I... Mm. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Rudy! <clears throat> Rudy will await your foundation. Enjoy your meal. This is excellent. <laughs> this cream sauce is so light. I can't wait to meet your parents. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, please relax. Rudy will wait as long as need be, huh? Yeah, you relax. Let your ass do the talking. Rudy! <laughs> So, um, yeah, my parents can't wait to meet you, too. <clears throat> How's the duck? Uh, I bet it's good. <laughs> hey, speaking of ducks, I hear some quacking. Rudy, please.
Um, so, uh, <laughs> you better be careful or my mom's going to bore you with her garden stories. <laughs> Thanks for the advance warning. <laughs> hey there, General. You uh, deployed any troops yet? Uh, Rudy! <laughs> hey, now that's what I'm talking about. You folks have a good evening. Do you, do you have any toilet paper? Ah, sh 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 no, 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 no. We do not have something as crude as a toilet paper, huh? Mm. Frenchie! Hello, governor! <laughs> well, no need to fumigate this month. <laughs> you will love Frenchie's humor. We all do. <laughs> I know. How about Molly here? She's always nice and moil for the bum of a gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. All right. All right. If you would, sir. <laughs> you know, me and me brushes, we've been everywhere. <laughs> From Waterloo. To Tiananmen Square. Ain't that right, Molly? <laughs> up, up, and away. <laughs> it's me, Frenchie, flying over the neighborhood. And in out the boxes, because Frenchie's got the goods. If you see me coming, <laughs> give a wink. And a nod. <laughs> Here's a little gift that came out of your bod. It's me, Frenchie, flying over the neighborhood. Handing out the box, says, because Frenchie got the goods. Frenchie's got the goods. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. Hey. What is it? <laughs> oh my god, it's a week late. <laughs> I should have gotten this thing a week ago.